Oh. Hey guys, welcome to the doghouse or welcome back to the doghouse. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. If you are new here still, uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a like if you like the end of this video. Leave a comment down below. Let's get this video started. I've been wanting to do this kind of video for um, a little while now just because I have uh, quite the array of variety of diets that my dogs are on and I feel like a couple of them can do this little challenge and I'm also really curious to see how it goes myself. I have my own predicaments. Predicaments, not predicaments, guesses. We'll just we'll just go there. But before we start this video, I want to go ahead and say that we this video is actually sponsored by Benabone. And this is actually my collection of Benabone that I've already purchased myself over the last probably year and a half or so. Um, as you can see, our dogs have loved all of them and they've actually lasted quite a while. They actually sent Zuko his own little baby bones. So these are kind of new out um, on the market. They're brand new. They're a lot, they're softer, not soft. Like they're so hard, I can't bend this or anything. Um, but it's just a softer texture at all, like a smoother texture. Uh, so much better for the puppy's little mouth. And I can tell you right now with Zuko being what, 15, 16 weeks old right now? He is definitely enjoying these guys um, because otherwise he'd be enjoying our fingers. So he's definitely going through a teething phase, which he's going to do for a little bit longer, but very excited to have these. Thank you, Benabone. This is bacon flavor, um, and he definitely loves it. All right, now that that's over with, back to the video. And today's video, what we're going to be doing is, I wanna see if my dogs, some of my dogs, we're not using everybody here, um, but I wanna see whether or not they choose kibble versus raw. A lot of people, or companies, let's just say, it's not people, um, a lot of companies I've seen do like little videos and commercials or blurbs or whatever on like social media, and it's always like, your dog will always go for raw food instead of kibble, highly processed kibble. Believe me, I'm all about the raw. I love it. Uh, it's not super feasible for everybody, including myself, um, but I do what I can. But I think that a dog actually, or at least my dogs, I feel like they actually would go for kibble more. Um, maybe not the cheap kibble I see used in those little commercials, but I got some really good kibble and it's it has a smell. Like <laughs> other kibble, like, Kibble has smell to it, unlike raw, actual raw, like just the like what they call whole prey, not even whole prey, but DIY, just like regular raw meat or food. Like doesn't really have a smell to it, let's cook it. <laughs> so I'm curious to see what the dogs actually will go for. So um, well, let's get into it. All right, so first up, I'm gonna have actually my little raw fed girl. So this is actually gonna be really interesting to see what she chooses because she is on a raw diet. Some dogs actually don't like the texture of raw or actually have to get used to the idea of it. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. Lila. <laughs> Oh, and of course Zuko's gonna be her cheerleader. Are we gonna go for raw or kibble? I'm gonna go ahead and make sure she smells what's going on here. We're not gonna cheat and give one closer or before. I know those are very intimidating. So she's really, okay. And check that out. Little Miss Raw Fed. All right, you tasted the kibble first. What? You don't want either? Aren't you hungry? Lila, okay. Well, uh, I think she would prefer the raw. She gave the kibble a taste and was like, no thank you. Although she kind of did the same with the raw. Uh, one thing though too I think is the problem here, she's such a little hermit that she's very used to eating in her kennel and she feels better in there. So, Lila, are you not comfortable? Okay, so let's get somebody else. All right, we got Grim here, he's bellied up to the bar. Now Grim, are you already tired of this? Grimmy, are you already tired? 
So Graham actually is used to eating both raw and kibble. So we're gonna go ahead and see how he does this. Again, he actually, he's not the most food motivated dog. Um, I will say they're hungry right now. This is their brunch time. Um, I don't feed breakfast. They eat like a little bit later in the day after some good exercise. They've, all right. So I'm gonna do again slowly. He sees both plates coming. Smell what's on each. Okay. Interesting. Graham, you picked the, the meat? Do you not, you don't wanna? Wow. I'm actually surprised. I really thought the dogs would go more for kibble. They're just gonna eat all the meat. Does that make you not want the kibble? He's actually had both before. Like I've, I've mixed raw and kibble together, which is sometimes okay, sometimes not okay for dogs. It just really depends. No, you're looking for more raw. Well, good job, Grimmy. Okay, let's get somebody else next. Still no kibble? Oh, now you've tasted it, huh? Oh Lord. All right, good job. All right, we've got the gun dog here. We're gonna see what he likes. I did put a little bit less raw food on his plate just because uh, he's not, he's used to a little bit of raw, but not a whole lot. So we don't wanna go crazy. Wait, I know, sit. You don't even know what this is. You just see two plates. Did you fart? Okay, well, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it slowly down. I'm not sure how this is really gonna go. Keeping at a distance, letting that note, wait a minute, letting that nose work. Okay, he really kinda knows what's on both. And immediately, okay, see. <laughs> Uh, all you people with Goldens and Labs out there, you probably um, are used to this. They are just a glutton for punishment. They're chow hounds. I had a feeling you were going to do both as fast as you could. So. Nothing is too good or too bad for Gunner. I don't know, I don't really know if there's a win or a fail for this video, if this is a challenge, but um, yeah, you win at cleaning the plates. How about that? And trying to find more. Bye! All right, it's our last little guy that we're gonna use today, again, somewhat used to raw feeding. Not like full raw feeding, but I do add a little bit of raw here and there in everybody's diet, um, except Harvey's. So you're not going to see Harvey in this video, sorry. Um, he has a very sensitive stomach and it's actually been currently upset the last week or so. So we've been handling, managing that. So we're not gonna rock that boat. Are you crying? I'm just talking. You look, what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so I did actually put it in some different bowls to see if that was just better for the little guys. Um, but yeah, oh, hey, I'll bring it to you, don't worry. All right, so we've got our raw beef and our kibble, and I'm letting him kind of see. Well, did you, you just swallowed that. You know that, right? You just swallowed it. Would you like the kibble? Do you, you can, do you want both? Or are you just gonna wait for more raw meat? All right, really? No? Are you ever gonna eat kibble again now? So if I give you the choice, this is it? 
Wow. Uh, what? Oh my God. Well, you guys, I was, I was mistaken. <laughs> my theory that kibble has a smell to it. Maybe there's, I guess, obviously there's just something in raw meat that I don't, that we don't smell. And it's just something that naturally appealing to your dogs and probably your cats too, but uh, yeah. What? You don't want the kibble? That's very good kibble. Go eat your kibble. That's actually your, like your kibble. That's your brand of food. You and Grimm's. And neither one of you wanted it. Dang it. You made me wrong, Dexter. I mean, let me tell you what. Oh, he's, oh, there we go. Desperate. <laughs> uh, let me tell you what, this kibble is actually, it's fish, so it's like very stinky. So those are kind of, I'm actually really surprised. Um, and for, before I finish this video, um, I know people are probably gonna ask, what kind of kibble is that? So this is what uh, Dexter and Graham are actually eating right now. It is called Essence. It's actually very, it's brand new. It literally just hit the, hit the uh, stores or market or whatever you wanna call it last month, like in the end of last month. And uh, yeah, it's a great dog food we're trying out. It's supposed to be, you know, close comparison to Origin and Akana. So um, we're seeing how it goes, giving it a couple, couple months. So far, so good. They do like it, but apparently not next to raw raw foods some raw meat huh all right guys thank you for watching this video again if your dog's not used to eating any kind of raw don't i wouldn't suggest doing this out of nowhere um and also if you are interested in raw good you should be um it's a great way to feed your dog it does take a lot of research there's no way i can tell you how to start your dog to feed raw uh, in a comment below. So I'll be down there answering and talking with you guys, but do some research if you're interested. My only, my biggest advice is whatever you do, you do it slowly. See you guys in the next one. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, give us a like, thumbs up, share if you thought this was interesting and um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.